Being Latino and bilingual is one of the best things in the world. It's like you're part of a secret club that just not anybody can be a part of. Sometimes you catch people talking shit and sometimes you make new friends. Last time the gang at Better Like talked about the struggles of being bilingual, but today we're gonna talk about the perks. Being bilingual just makes everything that much better. Fights, ordering food, screaming at someone. Knowing Spanish makes sex better. One of my favorite perks of being able to speak Spanish is fooling people. In the traditional world, whatever the hell that means, I don't look Latina, right? When people are talking in Spanish, you know, and they're like, blah, 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 and I just, I play my position. I'm like, I'm just gonna scope you out and I'm just gonna listen. And you're just there listening, you're like, mm-hmm, síguele cabrona, vas a ver. Ahorita que termine esto, voy a pegar una pinche rastrada que ni te imaginas. And I'm like, okay, dijeron? ¿Qué fue lo que pasó? I think the reaction of people's faces, that satisfies me. You could talk shit about something somebody behind their back, right in front of them. You don't even need to lower your voice. You just gotta be like, yo, te tengo que decir una vaina. There's a whole nother world of entertainment that's open to you when you're bilingual. You can watch the novelas. American soap operas are okay, but honestly, who's the American version of Itati Cantoral? That's right. She doesn't exist. I can speak Spanish around my boyfriend and he never knows I'm talking about him. And I could be on the phone with my mom or I could be on the phone with my best friend and I have to drop something that he can't hear. Quick to change it up. Yeah, so yesterday, yo estaba en el aeropuerto y vi un papi. But then all of a sudden, girl, you don't even know. He passed by me y me envió una mirada. Oye, lo bueno de ser bilingüe es que yo puedo hablar con quien sea de otro país. Tú eres colombiano, guatemalteco, salvadoreño. We could have a full on conversation. It's such a beautiful thing to have that connection with your culture and the language. I am learning it more now and I have a direct connection to talk with my grandmother, which is the most important to me. I want to be able to pass on this language to my kids because I don't teach it to them and it stops at me and it kind of dies with me. And definitely in the field I'm in, you know, not only being a person of color, being Latino, being Mexican, being Dominican, broadens my audience because there's lots of Spanish speakers out there. There's definitely a way that I create a connection with them because I'm bilingual. It does feel like a superpower. They just unlock different parts of the world. So to have that, to be able to watch something and understand or pick up a conversation here or there or read an article and not have to hit the translate button on Google. It feels amazing. Overall, being able to speak more than one language is just more fun. Love who you are for everything that you are and continue to celebrate all aspects of your culture, your heritage, and your language. Another perk is being able to yell at your kids in public. You know, if you're at the store and they're acting up, you just look at them and you're like, Pórtate bien, Porfirio, porque vas a ver cuando lleguemos a la casa, cabrón. 